Hi everyone! Before we get into the video, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on. But anyway, today we are talking about why Bella Sarah ended, in my opinion. In case you didn't know, Bella Sarah was a magical horse game that released in 2006 or 2007. Basically, you had to go to the store and buy a pack of horse cards by Bella Sarah. The cards came with codes. So you'd take a card of a horse and put the code into your account in order to have that horse on your account to care for. So I'd always tell my mom to get me Bella Sarah cards because if I had more cards, that meant I had more horses on my account because each card represented a different horse with a name and backstory. Once added to your account, you could care for it, and on the game, you could do basic things like a race or mini games. But for the most part, there wasn't a lot to do but the daily mini games and care for horses. But the care didn't affect the horses, so there really wasn't any worry if I couldn't log on one day. I started collecting Belisera cards when I was in the first grade, so this game was popular a long time ago. By the way, the game was 2D and was a browser game that ran on Adobe Flash Player. And also, the codes you got from these horses would also give you some in-game currency, so you could go shopping for stuff to decorate your house with, or I think you could also buy extra rooms too. So I spent a lot of time simply buying stuff to decorate the rooms with, and I also would buy pets for these rooms, since some of the items also had backstory as well, since they were connected to the horses, I believe. I think you could also unlock items to buy if you had certain cards. But sadly, the game ended, and was ending before Adobe Flash Player did, I think. So let's talk about why I think Velocera is now gone and no longer a game we could play. Number one, the cards were expensive. Where I am from, it was about $8, I think, for a pack of five or seven cards, which isn't that much money, I think, when compared to other card game companies, but Bella Sarah had over 18 different card collections, though. So in total, there is over, I think, nearly 2,000 different cards to collect, or at least close to that number. There could even be more if you count foil cards, but I could be wrong. There was just a lot of cards. And the demographic target was kids, and kids can't buy the cards. Parents would. As a kid, there would be times where I saved up for cards, but for the most part, it was still my parents buying the cards for me. And a lot of parents just don't have the cash to be throwing at cards, especially when there are so many of them to collect. Number two, what cards were needed to play. You could make an account with Belisera for free. You had a starter horse named Peter, and you could do most of the game, I believe, without cards. But you couldn't go shopping or have any other horses because you needed cards for that. And if you didn't have cards, well, then you can't do the most common things in the game, which was shopping and caring for horses. Belisera later on made a questing type part of their game, but that also required codes from the cards. They also, before that, released a 3D game, but it was on disc or it was on Nintendo. So obviously it wasn't updated or added onto over time from what I could tell. And the main game was the browser one. So again, you need cards to play the game because cards have the codes. Bella Sarah also had a movie and a series, I think, as well, since they wanted to continue their lore because their story lore was really, really good. But again, the game was the main focus for players and you need cards to play the game. Number three, duplicate cards. Cards don't take up that much space, but as a kid who wanted to collect every card, it was simply very difficult. I remember getting very excited to open a card pack looking for new horses to add to my account, and it was simply duplicates of the other horses I already had. There was one horse I had, I think, named Hestia or Hera, and I literally had, I think, 10 of her. But I still redeemed her codes because even if I would have multiples of her, I would at least have in-game currency to spend on shopping. Because all I wanted to do was shop because what else was I supposed to do? Not go shopping? I had to go shopping. That's the only thing to do besides care for horses. And by the way, you couldn't ride these horses. You could only care for them and do like a horse race. But it wasn't of that horse. It was literally, I think, four 
different horses you could pick from, but again, you can't ride them. You could just do digital 2D mini games. So, but the duplicate cards got really annoying, especially when you want to have every horse, but every time you buy a new card pack, it is simply duplicates that you already had, and a lot of the time I wasn't even looking for rare cards. I just had bad luck with these cards, apparently. Number four, the game lacked entertainment value. So I've heard before that the creator of Bellisera did not really view the game as the main focus, but I don't know if that's true. But if it is, it sounds like the creator of the game simply wanted the cards to be the main focus, collecting cards and having every horse of every collection, which is fine. And to this day, people actually collect Bellisera cards, even though the game ended years ago. But... For kids, the game got boring. The only thing you could do was care for horses and do mini games, like I said before. And yes, we did have questing for a while in a 2D, 3D kind of form, and it was cool, but again, you needed the codes to play, because if I ran out of quests, it would say, you need more codes, basically, to unlock more quests, so I would have to put out more money just to get another quest, and if that quest ran out, get more codes for another quest. And simply as a kid, I could not afford it. You couldn't wait until the next day for another quest like new players can do on Star Stable. So basically, if I wanted more quests or wanted more horses, I would have to go back to the store and buy new Bellisera cards. And sometimes stores simply did not have the cards, so you're out of luck. And then it got boring for a while because, again, like, you need codes to do anything. For a while, Bella Sarah also released books which were cool, but again, kids want games to play. And I simply wasn't getting the entertainment value for how much the cards costed. And sometimes the game was really buggy for me, or if you contacted customer support, nobody replied back. Or I simply could not log on to the site. It would take so long for the website to even fully load. Meanwhile, any other website loaded perfectly fine. Maybe Bellisera simply had a server that couldn't handle many people, but I remember after a while, if you played the game for longer than 45 minutes, you'd get booted off. I think they said it was because kids shouldn't be online for that long, but at the same time, that's why the kids buy your cards, because they want to play your game. Even if they just said this to, like, keep the server up and running without keeping people waiting for too long, it's just still kind of odd. So in my opinion, the game ended because it was expensive, the target was kids, and the online game was just lacking. And on top of that, Adobe Flash Player destroyed a lot of games the second it went down. And in my opinion, I think Star Stable Online got a lot of their audience from Bellisera, because many of us wanted a magical story with lore and magic horses, and a way to even ride the horses and explore. Because in Bellisera, we had a story, but we couldn't really interact with it. Then, Star Stable Online releases, and suddenly we have everything we wanted and more. A lot of girls I knew literally quit Bellisera and started Star Stable Online, then nicknamed all of their Star Stable horses after their Bellisera horse if they looked similar. And I have done that as well. For example, Sleepmane was one of my favorite Bellisera horses, so the second we got an Icelandic horse in Star Stable that looked like him, I bought that horse so quick. And I named him after that Bellisera horse, obviously. So yeah, this is just what I think. If you have anything to add on to it, let me know down below. But yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye!